Regional pride is one of the best and the worst things about League of Legends, and performing well at the Mid-Season Invitational gives actual meaningful bragging rights to the major regions. <clears throat> Sorry, Rift Rivals. When new teams face off against each other for the very first time, you know that we're due for some real barn burners on the Rift. Here are the top five games in MSI history. With two MSI titles and one finals appearance, obviously SK Telecom is going to be featured quite a bit on this list. In the 2016 group stage, with RNG already clinching first and SKT locked into fourth after a disappointing round robin performance, you wouldn't expect these two squads to put on a very exciting affair, but of course, they ended up doing just that. After an explosive early game, it was RNG who jumped out to an early lead. A back and forth mid game was then blown wide open when Mata landed a pixel perfect cosmic binding to win a team fight that led to an RNG Baron. Despite being down over 7,000 gold and an inhibitor, SKT found their fight and tried to end the game immediately afterwards. But RNG's defenses held strong, and SKT was forced to run and hide in the most unlikely of places. Teleport coming down, Xiaohu! He's gonna teleport in! They wanna find the kill under the Lulu! They're pinging the base right now, there's loads of minions! If you look at the top lane, oh, Super Minions, Vega's hiding, you she's really devil! This is huge for SKT if they get the recall off Mata. them. Nope, Doesn't not finding him. But the SKT down the turret. have to still defend now. The recalls, if that had been interrupted by Mata, RNG might have had a chance to finish the game. A few minutes later, SKT would again find their fight and nobody on RNG could take down Bang's Lulu-powered Lucian, leading to an improbable SKT comeback in just over 53 minutes. Before their 18-0 season and semi-final finish at Worlds, 2015 Fnatic first made a splash at the first installment of the Mid-Season Invitational with Steelback still in at 80 carry. Everyone remembers Febovin solo killing Faker, but before their best of five even got underway, they played a slobber knocker in the group stage. Early on, Fnatic started racking up kills and a beautiful Cassiopeia ulti by Febovin in the mid lane gave them a 4k gold lead. After SKT answered with a team fight win of their own, Rainover played Hero in the Baron Pit. Our Wolf very low health, Hooney comes in from behind getting in position for that old faker. Swipes away, he's, he's oh, stolen! There it is, whoa! Rainover steals the Baron and SK Telecom, what are they gonna do? They're gonna try to get some kills here. Oh, just to grab one, SKT in the end, as Huni finally goes down with that whimsy. Wow, Huni just will not die here. Now Steelback coming what? in. Can he do enough damage? Are you serious? There's a kill for Steelback. And Fnatic, they steal the Baron. Fnatic would win another team fight before an odd Sejuani interaction. Ended up with two dead on the side of Fnatic and an SKT Baron. Then down 23 to 11 in kills, SKT pulled another incredible team fight out despite a Herculean effort by Febovin. Oh, Huni didn't quite get to bang. Meanwhile, Wolf comes back with a headbutt, Paul Rice. Great equalizer comes down, rain over, trying to get the back lines, but Bengi with a big absolute zero. Marin is huge, literally, because of that wild growth. Huni manages to catch Faker with his ultimate, but Faker back away. Fnatic in big trouble, double kill for Bengi ready. Make it a triple kill, and now SK Telecom, despite that big up for Febovin. Bang's Wolf. going in! Telecom a run for their money like nobody else could, but in the end, SKT takes the game, therefore, oh, GG. The grand finals of 2015 saw SKT fall down 2-1 to one to EDG before Faker subbed in for Easy Hoon to lead them to a Game 4 victory, and in the fifth and decisive match, he locked in his patented LeBlanc pick, which he was 12-0 on at the time. But EDG, well, they were ready for it, drafting a team comp built to counter it with Morgana mid and Clearlove's Evelyn. 
With Faker as the only real source of damage for his team, EDG orchestrated their comp perfectly to shut down the rest of SKT and give Korea their first best of five loss on a major international stage. Bring back those dragon jackets, EDG. Damn! Three years after EDG's win over SKT, RNG came into the finals as the top seed after crushing the group stage. With a 2-1 series lead over King Zone, the LCK champs looked well on their way to forcing a decisive fifth game after grabbing a Baron and BDD's Velkaz ripping through RNG for four kills, which led to an inhibitor. A few minutes later, after one of the many pauses in this game, another Baron battle ensued, but this time Uzi would come up huge. We are back in the game and we've gone straight to 110. RNG inside the Baron pit, super minions out of the battle, but look at the fight, that's already a kill. Parsa is gone, Kings don't lose Gorilla, and it's Uzi that picks him up. The feathers are going back and forth to Shao who dies. The Uzi is the last man alive, but he's being chased down. Killer oh my god! flashes into the pit, how oh is he still alive? Uzi is doing it, allowing Tentacle and Baron finish him off. But there are still supers on the Nexus turrets. There's a teleport coming out. Khan's going for the base. Khan's going to try and finish this one himself. One man against one turret. Oh man, but where is the support? In already RNG have been able to get away. Uzi keeps RNG alive. The very next team fight, Zhao Hu and Karsa would pounce on Prey with the double suppression and his QSS a matter of seconds away from coming off cooldown. That would be all the LPL champs needed to run it down mid and win China's second MSI title. He's got the ultimate available. Gorilla is not going to be able to save him. And King Zone is in tatters for the first time ever. RNG is chasing success. Royal never give up. Rule the world. Winning MSI 2018. After losing to wildcard team Supermassive earlier in the week, there probably wasn't much faith to be had in CLG to take down the undefeated RNG. After falling down 15,000 gold and two inhibitors, the faith was at an all-time low. But somehow, CLG managed to hold off RNG from getting that elusive third inhibitor. Then, to prevent RNG from securing their fifth dragon, X Smithy pulled off a miracle in the pit to keep the comeback dream alive. They have to go hard. Seal just have to force. They have no. They get to bind on Mata. Can they do it? They have to spite Baron. A dragon ain't oh! dying. I should say, Stick Stay does get Mata. The dragon goes down. It's secured by X Smithy. That is the oh first one for them. Can they do Are it? Oh, can you believe? Do you have the faith in CLG? Because they just secured three. Looking They're for four, get four. Looking for it. And can they end on this one? Are you kidding me? Smithy goes in and he lambs with spites to keep the dragon alive. With Baron buff in hand now and the local Chinese fans silent in the arena, CLG ran it down mid for an inhib of their own. And after a teleport flank from Looper, the faithful servants of counter logic were finally rewarded. We didn't get Looper. Uh -oh. Now, Looper is actually going to have to back off, but can they flank again? Darshan a little low. That's marked onto Huhi. And they're starting oh. to move, but Shao is shut down by Stixay. I don't know how this one's going to turn out. And that's insane. Looper is going low, but he chrono breaks back. A double kill for Huhi. A kick for Huhi. Oh, I can't God. believe it. A triple Dude, kill. That's going to be the ace. Looper is it. down. CLG, do you God believe, Kobe? Did it. Are you kidding me? They're gonna take down the undefeated team here at MSI! And I the never odds. doubted them! I never doubted them! CLG Counter Logic Gaming with the most unlikely victory!